A seasoned detective tell me, told me that he has never seen this amount of gunfire in his 25 year career. Now state police will be investigating this, how the suspect got this ammunition, how much he had. And the Pittsburgh police chief saying that they tried to give him every opportunity to peacefully surrender after those Allegheny County Sheriff's uh, deputies served that eviction notice. Sheer terror in Pittsburgh's Garfield neighborhood after thousands of rounds of gunfire exploded shortly after 10.30 in the morning in the 4800 block of Broad Street. The six-hour standoff ended with the suspect, 63-year-old William Hardison, dead. And did give him the, every opportunity to surrender. That's why an incident like this took the amount of time that it took. It was about a little over four and a half hours and, and that we've provided ample opportunity for peaceful surrender. Police say sheriff's deputies tried to serve an eviction notice. Hardison didn't respond well, and the father and grandfather started firing at officers, trying to talk to him. He barricaded himself inside the home. That home, we are told, belonged to Hardison's brother, who died. A man named William Hardison was also listed on the deed, but the home sold in February at a sheriff's sale. Throughout the day, Pittsburgh and Allegheny County SWAT and the state police CERT team responded trying to get Hardison to surrender. Homes evacuated. After hours of exchanging of gunfire just after five, Pittsburgh Public Safety confirmed that Hardison was dead. Miraculously, the only injury we know of is that one of an Allegheny County Sheriff's deputy, his head cut. They had concerns and had a meeting in the morning. Seven guys arrived in armor, but he says they had no idea it would be this bad. We certainly didn't expect this. Um, certainly there's you know, factors that go into these types of things we do. Uh, we evaluate, we respond accordingly, but we certainly had no information whatsoever that this individual was this dangerous or that there were firearms in the house. Sources tell KDKA they were aware that Hardison considered himself a sovereign citizen, not bound by the laws of the United States or any state or local government. He had been cited more than 20 times for driving without a license. This YouTube video shows him being stopped by police four years ago, Hardison calling them fake police and saying they have no power over him. And the Pittsburgh police chief uh, telling reporters that Hardison shot down multiple police drones during this standoff. So there are still a lot of questions. State police, that they are going to delve in. As I mentioned, how many homes got hit by bullets? How many homes were evacuated? It's going to be a long night. They're still collecting evidence. One neighbor told me off camera that she knew Hardison. She thought he was odd and she did not feel uncomfortable about some of the things that she saw. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.